What is that blasted thing? Now's not the time to ponder such things. We must keep moving. The town is not far. 400 men, sir. It took out 400 men. We're four. Then we'll see to it that whoever's responsible will pay for their actions. Whoever is responsible you're the commanding officer. You ran. Their lives are on your head. There is no time for that kind of talk. It is of the utmost importance that we make it to Boston before tomorrow. What is it that you're hiding from us, sir? We intercepted a message from the rebels that included General Washington's whereabouts. I have in my possession that very message. This could turn the tides of the entire war, men. This land that belongs to King George will be taken back from the scoundrel colonists. I will not let you or anyone stop me from delivering this. I don't know, sir. Whatever that was. It's not human. Then I suggest you run faster. Tim! Tim! We continue to move! Tim! Now! Tim! Commander Boggs, I understand you possess a mission at hand. Yet, you remain all day in the solace of the Commander's tent. But us, we dedicate our lives alongside our brothers like Tim and Henry and Griffin and all the others. You let die. Grant us, but a moment. We move now. Gentlemen, uh, I do believe our best course of action is no weapons between the lot of us. Why don't you do it, Jonathan? You haven't got the courage! Easy, mate. That's what I thought. Hey. Let's just keep focus on keeping ourselves alive. Keep your head about you. He just got married, you know. Yeah. A real beauty at that. I suppose it falls on one of us to deliver here the news. He would have been a great father. <laughs> Do you remember the time he, he uh, fell off the stagecoach in New York? <laughs> of course I remember that. He fell, Johnson out, trousers down, right on top of me. <laughs> Say, did you ever get a Mrs. Box? Take that as a resolute no, then.
Never had time for one, Cyrus. Yeah, you know, I understand. Too busy being the commander and such. One could at such time. Hey, it's an honorable path, my friend. I understand. Me, on the other hand, I had plenty of misses. Probably one too many after that, too. <laughs> I seem to recall one that had a uh, horrible stench. Yeah, it's the stench I love, mate. The beautiful, dirty, rocky smell of love. <laughs> I don't suppose either of you grab any rations here? John? Box. Tim? Tim! John? I don't know if I'd do that if I were you. But... It's Tim! Him. I think it's time to run. I would agree. I thought you said town was near. I believe it was. But no more. It's time we set up camp. You're suggesting you're willing to stay out tonight with that fear sprint? I am not. I'm saying we need rest. I'll take first watch. told you to sleep. Yes, sir. You did. You gotta tinker on what it could be. I don't think it's the locals, I surmise. No, I think it's something not natural. Do not know what it is. They say this forest has a has a heart. I mean, there are these spirits, maybe even perhaps monstrous beasts that dwell in these woods. They go by tales of, oh, I don't know, windigos or walkers, and they feast on the flesh of men. Or pass judgment for your sins. Or oh, by hellfires, I don't know. I cannot say if anything I just say is true. What I do know is sends a shiver down the spine to the natives. I mean, some of them even worship these abominations. Well, do not think we will have to worry about that much longer. I. I pray that be true. Because we will soon be judged ourselves. ourselves. 